Guys, after waiting so long, we finally got some car parts in. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Devious Garage. Today we have a pretty interesting install. It should be a quick one. I hope so. Just gonna have to take off some stuff off the car, but it shouldn't be too bad. And the good thing is, it's gonna make the car look totally different. First of all, I wanna say sorry guys for taking so long to make these videos. I've been waiting forever for these car parts to come in. I ordered them like last week. And with all this thing going on, I don't know if it has to do with the whole virus going around or so on and so forth, but the shipping is taking a lot longer than I thought. But the good thing is that I got two of the three packages that I had ordered. The only thing that sucks is the one thing that I really, really wanted because that's what I wanted to do before I installed these two things. I have to wait for it and it's the wrap. Crazy thing is that I went to go actually try to pick it up myself because it's at a location nearby and they told me that it's still in the trailer and they can't do anything about it until it's out of the trailer. So that sucks, but the good thing is that we have these two things now. And since you guys have been so patient with me, I'm gonna go ahead and show you another part that I got, but it's not gonna be installed until the next video. So that'll definitely be coming soon. Stay tuned for that and I'll show you guys what I got. All right guys. So this is gonna be the install for today and this is gonna be the next install and I can't wait to throw these on my car. As you guys can see, I got some D2 racing springs so I can finally go ahead and lower the car. As you can see, the gap right now is not, not the best. It's not terrible. You know, I've seen some cars that look definitely a lot taller, but I can't wait to see them. And we'll also probably have to pick up some spacers, so maybe I can order those and hopefully they'll come in time and just knock them out at the same time. Put some spacers on the car so the wheels don't look gas tucked in. So once the springs are on there, it's gonna be lowered and have just a, be a way better fitment than it does now. But I'll go ahead and leave those there because we're gonna actually move on to this. And I'll show you guys what I got in here. Got my blade. Pop this thing open. Hopefully I don't cut anything. On these edges right here. And here it is, guys. I actually went ahead and picked up a duckbill spoiler for the SI because. I'm not gonna say that I absolutely hate this or have any dislike for it, but I wanted to switch it up, I wanted it to be a little bit different. And they have two options for this. They have the raw material, and I went ahead and paid a little bit more and got it in the gloss black, because that way, once I put it on the car, it's gonna look good. I mean, it's not the best paint job. I do definitely see some, you know, I could use some work, but what can I say, for the price that I paid, I can't complain. I believe it came out to around like 90 something dollars. I'll double check and I'll put the link down below for you guys. But I definitely hope that it looks really, really good on the car. I've always liked the duckbill look on a lot of cars. So definitely gonna have to take off my old OEM spoiler. But other than that, it shouldn't be that hard. The only thing that sucks is I thought this thing was gonna at least come with some double-sided tape. And it doesn't. So I'm gonna have to look around, see if we can find some. If not, I'm gonna have to go to the store, pick some up, come back, and then do the install. I actually managed to find some double-sided tape here, which is awesome because I didn't want to have to go out and get some tape and then come back. So what I'm gonna double check is just to see if it's not that hard to take off this spoiler that's on there right now and then put on this one i'm gonna start by removing all these clips right here i actually went ahead and picked up this a while back but i think a lot of you guys might be you know i'm gonna just recommend it to you guys i know i have to deal with a bunch of clips all the time so pick this up on amazon around like 20 bucks and it's nice because it comes with this little pouch everything's organized and it's really good material really strong i've used it on a couple cars and it's helped me out so much without having to ruin all the clips and have to try to pull them out just with some basic tools that I have laying around. Everything has its purpose, which is nice. I went ahead and got the shroud all removed after removing all the clips, and it looks like it's just gonna be two 10 millimeter bolts, but there is a couple clips that actually make the spoiler stick on here and some double-sided tape. So once I take those off, I'm gonna show you guys how to unclip this to make sure that if you guys wanna ever remove the spoiler for whatever reason, you guys have an idea of how to do it. So the first one is gonna be through this hole right here. I'll show you guys more back view. So it's gonna be like the one that's right next to the corn. That leads up to the trunk patch, so. Yep, this is gonna be the first one. And then the second one is gonna be 
Same area, but just on the other side, it's gonna have no hole, but it's this, this is the hole with this kind of shape right here. Right there. Cool. So I'm gonna remove those real quick, and then I'll move on to the rest of it. I move both of them, they should look like this. So I'll go ahead and put these over here, and I'm gonna have to move over here to removing the clips. So I was like, why didn't these things come out? I was scared of actually scratching the paint by shoving the plastics right under it. So I started pushing on it pretty hard and it popped off. And it doesn't seem like anything's broken as far as like the spoiler itself. I think it's just the clips that actually broke, which is a good thing. Just definitely be cautious with it. If you need two people to do it, you know, just be careful. And there's double-sided tape on both sides as you can see right there. And on that side, so now I'm just gonna have to remove the third brake light. And I think I just have to remove the red piece right here. And then once I have that out, then I'm gonna unclip it. And I think once I got that out, then it's just gonna be cleaning all this, put in the double sided tape, and it should be pretty easy install. And we'll see how this thing looks like with the new duck post spot. Look at it now. Damn, that new wing though. <laughs> Also guys, this is definitely my first time trying this, so if I say anything, take it with a grain of salt, just saying, cause like, I'm not really a professional. <laughs> I just mess around with my car. So just remember, if you're gonna do it, just be very careful, cause at the end of the day, it's your car that matters. <laughs> Okay, so I got everything nice and cleaned up, got rid of all the glue that was left over. There was a couple scratches here, I'm not sure if that was from when I took off the spoiler itself or if I, if they were already there from originally. Maybe it was when I took off the spoiler. Not exactly sure, but let's see, let's mount up the spoiler and see if it'll fit. Okay guys, so it looks like we have some good news and some bad news. The good news is the spoiler definitely fits. It looks really good on the car, but the spoiler just literally misses all this area right here. So the one good thing is that I'm wrapping the whole car. So once I put the wrap there, it's actually gonna cover these holes, which is actually gonna save me from that. But for now, I can't just rock around with empty, like those holes are showing. So what I'm, so what I'm actually gonna do is I actually have some gloss black wrap here. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a line that goes straight across here. Basically covering the holes and kind of fitting it the same color as a spoiler. Just to not have that issue for the moment. That way when I wrap the car anyways, it'll cover it because I'm gonna have to remove the spoiler again. Cover that whole area and then worry about it then. So I finished up wrapping all the holes. The nice thing is that it is a gloss black, so it's gonna match the spoiler. And it looks like it did a pretty good job of hiding everything. Even with the wrap, the holes are kind of hard to see. So hopefully once I do wrap the whole vehicle, it'll do the same effect. So now all I have to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my spoiler ready with some double-sided tape. Gonna put some on each side. And I really don't wanna go ahead and make some new holes in my car if I don't have to. So what I usually do is to make it stick really, really good and I did the same thing on my CRZ and it never flew out, I've had no bolts on there at all. It's very simple. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your heat gun. Keep this up really, really well. Boom, 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 boom. Do that, do that to every single piece. Every single piece. 
I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys. It's kind of hard to see, and sorry, excuse the fact that my car's so dirty. But. It's looking good. It's kind of hard. To, I think it's just the lighting is what makes it, making it a little bit harder to pick up. But, maybe from the side view here. What do you guys think? You guys think you like the old OEM sport? I think you guys like this. I think it just looks better from like a lower view. So once probably the car is a little bit lower, there we go. Now you guys can tell. Yeah. It's definitely an interesting look. I think the, the car just needs to be the new color. Can't wait to show you guys that. And once it's all together, lowered, new wrap. And the spoiler, it's gonna look crazy. Now that the install's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the car, see what it looks like in the light. And I really, really hope that in the sun, it's gonna pop like crazy. So I came to this other spot that's close to the park where I've taken pictures before, and it gets a really good lighting. So let's check it out in the sun. So it's definitely more noticeable out here. I think, I think it's gonna eventually grow on me. Right now, I think I'm not used to seeing it all the time. I'm thinking about maybe blacking out this area as well. Just so it kind of fits it all in one, you know, one swoop, kind of matching the black right here, going all the way across. I think that would look pretty cool. And if we get a side view of it, I think it looks pretty cool. My battery is going to die at any second, so thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys like that install. The wrap is on its way, and the springs are probably going to be the next video, so stay tuned for that. And until the next one, please go ahead and like this video because it helps me out a lot. Subscribe, and until the next one, peace.